Hey guys, this is Marshall from Pacific Reviews, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and install of some DDR2 RAM on a MacBook Pro from uh, late 2008, and uh, just information, that's a pre-unibody one, you'll see it later in the video. So this is a DDR2 RAM, and I got it from Otherworld Computing, MacSells.com, they're great, they're definitely the best place to buy RAM for your Mac. Uh, I mean, they're better than almost anywhere, price-wise, and just pretty much anything. So, here's the box. Let me go and open it up, and it's kind of blacked out the uh, address, because I don't want people mailing me stuff. So, some reasons why you want more RAM is one thing I found with 2 gigs of RAM, because this is uh, 4 gigs I'm upgrading to, is that Lion uses a lot of RAM. Like, their minimum requirements are two gigs and let me tell you if you're using two it's difficult to do much anything else so four gigs is definitely definitely what I wanted so uh, this is just some paperwork yeah just my receipt okay so here's the actual RAM that we're gonna use and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and then I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. I'm trying to keep this video pretty short. You know, I don't want this to be a 20 minute video me showing you how to unscrew all the screws. Okay. And here we go. There's the RAM. So now pretty much I'm just going to make a cut here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and uh, this is my computer, it's a pre body MacBook Pro, it does take DDR2 RAM, you can have up to 8 gigs I think in here, but um, I just got 4, so that's pretty much that, and going into it a little bit more, you want to make sure your computer is off, and besides that, uh, well you can't really access the RAM anyways unless your computer is off, so it's not that big of a deal because you are going to be taking out your battery. So before I drone on any longer, the only thing you're really going to need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver that I have right here. Um, I don't really know the size, uh, but a decently small one. I don't know, I guess I'd describe it as one that you can unscrew a Nerf gun with. Because that's what I use this for. So, going into it. So you're going to take your laptop, and I'm trying to keep this in the viewing angle as much as possible. You want to flip it, turn around with the fans facing you for now, I just find it easier like this, and you're going to take out the battery. So that's that. Just take out the battery. And I'll leave that off on the side here. So now, move it around again. I guess you could have kept it the other way, but I'm going to angle this down for you. So here, here is actually your trackpad and mouse. So just letting you know. Uh, so here's the plate that actually holds the RAM. It's underneath here. So, I'm just going to make a quick fast forward of me unscrewing it. Okay guys, I'm back, and just let you know, all you're going to need to unscrew are these three screws, and I just finished doing that, and it's just going to naturally go like this. I just wanted to hold it down. Uh, so, you're just going to take this off, and here you actually have your RAM. So, a little <laughs> suggestions about RAM is you want to make sure that your hands are clean. I wash my hands about three times using different things, rubbing alcohol, uh, hydrogen peroxide to really get in there, and then just normal soap and water, whatever, so on and so forth. So that's pretty much that. So when you're removing the RAM, there are actually two different levers in here. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more to show you this process a little bit better. Let's see if I can get that right there. Okay, so you're going to see that there's this lever and this one. Okay, so you want to just open this one up. The top one is the back one, so this one is this one. Your RAM is just going to pop up and you're going to pull it out. So here's this. It's a 1 gig card. And the bottom ones, you just like that. And you can pull this one out. So there you go. That's it. RAM's out. If you turn on your computer, bad things will happen. So now I'm just going to get the RAM from the box. Okay, so here are my two 2 gigabyte modules, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in, and now you really want to make sure that you make it 
go in there because like I said you want to make sure that it's in there entirely and that's what I'm just making sure of right now that it's actually in there <laughs> there we go yep that should work because um, Apple actually gives you instructions on how to uh, put it in there specifically now this will not void your warranty in any way Okay, so now that the new RAM is in there, I'm going to go ahead and put the plate back on. Okay, so the back plate is on, and we're just going to re-put in the battery. That's that, and give me one second, and I'll just go ahead and boot it up and show you that screen. And there we go. We have four gigs of RAM. And let's see, system information. Let's go to memory, and there you can clearly see two gigs and two gigs. Yay. So that's pretty much it. This has been Marshall from Pacific Reviews. Thank you.